I grew up in a neighborhood that was on the edge of a vast wooded parkland. And I grew up at a time when kids were very free to roam. And you basically walked out the door in the morning and maybe came back for supper. And no one worried about where you were. They couldn't call you on a cell phone. And it was a very naive and trusting time. It's hard to imagine parents doing that with their children now. I tried to work out my feelings about risk and danger in my novels because if I carried that over into real life, into day-to-day -day life, I think I'd be almost paralyzed with fright all the time. And I was also inspired by a very well-known type of story that's been used by multiple novelists about a group of friends with a secret. And then I thought, wouldn't it be interesting if there was a group of kids with a secret and a group of parents with a similar connected secret and that the tragedy of the story is they never share with each other what they know until it's much too late. It's funny, I've been a mom for 15 months now, and before my daughter was born, everyone said it would change me as a writer, and I assumed they meant it would change how I wrote about children, because I do write crime novels, and bad things have happened to kids in my books, and I didn't see that. I said, no, I've always written about children as being fully human, and that won't change. What changed is how I wrote about the parents. And while I like to think I always had tremendous empathy for every character I've ever created in my career as a novelist, the fact is I wrote differently about these parents once I became a parent too. And I just had so much more room in my heart for the things that they were going through.